how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. Um, I'm um, practicing um, making YouTube videos. And um, I think if I really do get into this, I would need to have a better background. I think most YouTubers have it like where it's against a wall and then like the wall's decorated. So, um, but I have a, a little bit of time before work, before I have to start getting ready for work. So I thought I would film the um, Law of Attraction video. And this is just um, like some notes I've written down. Um, the main person that I listen to, a lot of this stuff is from, um, it's called Abraham Hicks. It's um, a lady named Esther Hicks, her and her husband. Um, I think he's deceased now though. Um, she channels um, these spiritual entities or beings like consciousness and they, they go by the name Abraham. It's really neat to watch because she kind of like, um, she talks, you know, she talks as if she's getting the information from Abraham. And so it's really cool because she actually does like conferences and retreats and things like that. I hope I'm talking loud enough. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, and then people will ask her questions and then she like, um, hopefully I'm centered. People will ask her questions and she answers them. And so some of this is kind of, I was trying to find um, like the gems that I found in her thing, but whatever, I'll just start with like the definition of it. The law of attraction is the magnetic power of the universe that manifests through everyone and through everything. It is part of the creative power of the universe. Even the law of gravity is part of the law of attraction. Um, so it's kind of like you create your own reality. Thoughts become things like attracts like. So the law of attraction is the belief that the universe creates and provides for you that which your thoughts are focused on. Um, so think positive thoughts. Um, if you are sad or feeling angry, you have to do something to change your mood or your vibration. Um, so have you ever noticed, um, I think the answer, one of the examples she gives is you go to bed mad or pissed off, usually you wake up mad or pissed off. And it's kind of like, um, it's like, uh, or another way is like, say you're just feeling depressed or down or something and then you take a walk and it just helps you to like kind of get out of that mood. Um, another big thing about, um, uh, what's it called? It's the part about, let's see if I can find it. Um, it's like what you f say, it, it ties in a lot with the affirmations and it's like, it says if you focus on lack, you'll get more lack. Like if you're talk about like how you don't have money and you can't pay the bills and you know, blah, 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 and you're constantly thinking about that, you're not thinking about, um, like, the solution. You're just focused on the problem instead of focusing on the solution. And um, so you have to think of, like, in that situation, ways to make money. And, um, like, you have to start imagining yourself having abundance and having the things you want. It's almost like creating a vision board where... Um, because the universe, this, this, the universe will match your vibration, it'll match your thoughts. So, um, so it's like when you're putting, like, you know how days where you're like happy and everything's great and, you know, you go to work and it's like you, you get in, and, and you can see it in other people. If you see someone who's mad or angry or upset, you're like, oh, because they're putting, it's like, it's in there, it's in their like energy. It's in there. So you're kind of like, and then you kind of get that back. So it's the, yeah, so the other big one I think is that, so some people say, well, why am I not manifesting? Say I want this car, or say I want this relationship, or say I want, um, what do people want? Jobs, car, you know, say they want something. Like, it's because there's resistance in their vibration. So it's like, say you want to lose weight. But there's just a part of you that's still hanging on to, um, like, there's a part of you that's, that's resisting it. Like, you can't, or say you really do want a healthy relationship, or you really do want, but if there's resistance in your vibration, it'll, it'll affect the manif manifestation. You know, you can't, it's, it's like you can't be happy and sad at the same time. I mean, you can, but, like, technically you can, but you can't. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
So I'm trying to find exactly where. Um, so yeah, you get more of what you're focused on. So that which is like itself is drawn. So does that make sense? Um, the key is to think about what you want even if what you got isn't what you want. So, um, so you change your vibration. Um, so it's back, kind of back to the affirmations, like it is easy for me to be healthy and happy. Peace begins with me. Um, I am becoming healthy and happy. Um, you know, you gain control of your own experience. A lot of the things they talk about in the, the Esther Hicks, the, um, with the Abraham videos is like, she talks about getting in the vortex and being in the vortex. And she talks about source, like source is like source energy. That's like God, the creator of the universe. Um, and source is like pure love, pure, pure, every like pure. Yeah. Like that's it's like source is good. So you want source energy and you want to be in the vortex and you know, when you're in the vortex, when, um, when things are just working out and when you're at peace with yourself and you're at peace with others and you know, you're being your authentic self and, um, that's, that's the vortex. And it's like, you can't, that's where you have the most power is when you're like in the vortex. Um, and it's funny too, cause she was like, one time she was like, someone said something about, um, doctors or something they went to a doctor and she's like well doctors aren't in the vortex I mean technically they are but it was just kind of like I don't know there it's it was kind of funny so yeah they kind of um yeah so uh, she always talks about the path of least resistance and that doesn't mean um you know not doing anything but she also they also talk about not um, I don't know, not killing yourself to, um, you know, get stuff done. Um, so yeah, you, you, if you hold, if your inner being is focusing on abundance, but you're still focusing on lack, you're creating like a vibrational opposition. So you can't, if you, you have to allow something, but you can't be resisting it. And I know a lot of times I'll, I, I, I mean, I can go, I, you know how you you want something, but then you prevent yourself from getting it somehow. Um, so, um, so yeah, and there, there's contrast in this world for a reason. Like that's a good thing. I don't know if this glare is kind of like, um, the contrast is a good thing that allows us to decide what we want and what we don't want. Um, so I think they use like, okay, so the step one, um, is asking for what you want, like, you know, deciding what you want, like a certain job or a certain apartment or a certain whatever, deciding what you want in your life. You're to do YouTube videos or write a book or join a team or go back to school or, you know, whatever you're deciding you want. So then step two, ask and it is given. It's given in a vibrational form first, like, um, and then step three is focusing on what you do want. So you go with the flow of your new desire. Um, you have to just think about how good it will feel. You don't, don't focus on opposition. You put yourself um, in a place of feeling worthy enough to receive. Um, so deliberate vibrational path. So a lot, uh, to a lot of what she recommends is like meditating every day for like 15 minutes. Um, because I think um, a lot of times our thoughts are so, excuse me, a lot of times our thoughts are so, and I'm sending a birthday present to my brother, that's what that box is, and there's shells. <laughs> so I decided um, I had an extra hat, like a bucket hat that, that he, we like wished we had brought for him. It's like a unisex from Life is Good. So yeah, hopefully my place isn't all junky looking. So, um, anywho, uh, let's get back to the notes. Um, yeah, look around less, these are some Abraham Hicks quotes. Look around less, imagine more. Uh, a belief is only a thought I keep thinking. Life is always in motion so you cannot be stuck. Alignment trumps everything. Stay off the subject that disturbs your alignment and everything that you care about will come into alignment. 
you can't watch out for bad things and allow good things at the same time. It's not, it's vibrationally not possible. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Um, everything you believe affects everything that comes to you. Stop asking others to be the change that you need in order to feel better. That is the freedom you're looking for. You're not manifesting, you're creating the environment that allows the manifestation. Um, it is not your job to make something happy, happen. Universal forces are in place for all of that. Your work is simply to determine what you want. Um, the most valuable skill or talent that you could ever develop is that of directing your thoughts toward what you want. Um, reach for a better feeling thought. If you're not excited about it, it's not the right path. Okay, so those were Abraham Hicks quotes. Those, that last bit and was not my stuff. Okay. And the other stuff was just I googled law of attraction and was kind of looking up. Um, I was just looking up stuff. So, yeah, so you are your point of attraction, the vibration you're offering. Um, everything is a vibration. You have to visualize the, visualize the vibrational nature of everything around you, feel the vibration of the sounds and air around you. I think that's where meditation helps because I think it helps you to get more in touch with um, just your own thinking and your own thoughts. And then um, another thing she says is you can never get it wrong and you, can, you can't get it done. And another thing, um, I'm talking about Esther Hicks from the, she, she, she's like a, a writer, author um, that I've been talking about. She says, tuned in, tap, tuned in, tapped in, and turned on. So when you're feeling tuned in, tapped in, and turned on, um, that's when, um, like when life is really flowing, that's a good thing. Um, trust that you will receive, know what you want, be who you are, make it non-negotiable. Um, tell a new story, a better story. Um, we have a cooperative universe. Um, the law of attraction will never bring me someone that is not a vibrational match. Um, yeah. All right, so hopefully that has been helpful. We're at 12 minutes. Um, I was trying just to make a quick video. Um, yeah, so yeah, hopefully that's helpful. And everyone have a great day. Um, I will try to think of a new video idea. Um, yeah, I'm trying to decide if this is something that if being in front of the camera is something good for me or if I need to just be a writer and not <laughs> be in front of the camera. So, okay. Everyone take care. Have a good day. See ya. Bye.